Oh, this is hard without brushes. Alrighty, so today we are going to be doing a Bob Ross with only toothpicks. These are just regular square tip toothpicks. Um, I've done a couple. Uh, we got our canvas here. I've done a couple of these using brushes and things, but I've never done with just toothpicks. So I'm gonna challenge myself, and uh, we'll try and uh, we'll try and do that here. So we're gonna get a few of them out. We've got our liquid white on the canvas, of course. We're gonna be doing a Bob Ross with only toothpicks. I don't know how many of these I'm going to need. I don't know if you can see that. I'm doing a Mighty Mountain Lake, Season 16, Episode 12. I'm certainly glad you could join me today. You ready to do a fantastic little painting with me? Super. Tell you what, let's have them run all the colors across the screen. Could you, right. Let's start out today with some Prussian blue. Good, strong. I've got blue. cobalt blue. Just a little bit of it. Let's drop in a happy little you Mix that with a little bit of black, I think. Let's just do a fun painting today. Starting at the very top of the canvas, working all the way across. All right, this is going to be the hardest part because I don't have a wide brush. So the secret is you're going to take your toothpick, and you're going to kind of roll it into the paint. So you get a nice little bead on the end of it. I don't know if you guys can see that. Is mixing with the liquid white that's already on the canvas. Yeah. So what we'll do is we'll just start spreading it here. And lighter toward the horizon. And that's exactly what we're looking for today. We're going to lay it flat, and you're just going to spread it like you're spreading cake frosting. We're going to dip it in a little bit of the black. I'm going to go across. Just take out the brush strokes and bring everything together. Now, I've never done this before with just the toothpicks. Okay, it's a little too much black. Color will get lighter and lighter toward the horizon. And that's exactly what we're looking for today. Yeah, we'll except if you're using toothpicks. It's a nice, uh, okay. kind of cloudy day sky. That's fine. And very lightly, we'll go across the entire a canvas. White. And just kinda Three hairs and some air. Mix that white in there, just to kind of brighten things up along the bottom. All right. So he's on the clouds. We gotta add some of the water here. So we're gonna do that. Uh, a little blue. Dip it in. Uh, a little white. We kind of have white on one side, blue on the other. We're gonna spin this right around, and we're gonna start the blue side. We're gonna dip it into the white side. We're just gonna spread it while rolling the toothpick between our fingers it's going to be a very different style because there's not going to be brush strokes it's going to be like this these smears but so far I think it's looking pretty good like I said I've never done this before I've just done with brushes I feel like I should make the sky extend down a little more, but, uh, I don't know. I don't know. He goes down with the sky a little farther. We might just do that as well. We'll keep going with this, um, white and blue combo. Yeah, I'm going for a little more blue. And that's what you can do with the toothpick as well, is you can mix the paint and it kind of marbles. All right, a little bit of a night sky, kind of starts on top, gets lighter on the bottom. <clears throat> We're gonna spin this, and this is what I like about the mini canvases: you can flip them around and spin them, and really get in there. Yeah, then let's wash our old brush. We will just scrub him off in some odorless thinner. Luckily with the toothpicks, you just wipe them down with some tissue and see how many I need here. I might just use the one the whole time, I don't know. Let's make some big old fluffy clouds that live up here in the sky. So, I'm just going to kind of 
Ooh. This is gonna be hard with an actual brush. Okay, don't just throw this on at random and, and hope that a cloud will appear. No, that's what I'm doing. See, but if you do one of those, you do a cloudectomy, and you're in business again. Cloudectomy. Okay, keep that brush. I'm just gonna tap with the, uh, just the tip and the side of the toothpick. The Actually works pretty well. Right what happens is with the oils. There. Is they tend to um, make little peaks, kind of like little icing peaks. Same thing so sometimes you gotta kind of smush them down. But a lot of times you'll see. It gives you some texture. Okay, this is gonna be a very textured top, image. It's gonna have a lot of bumps coming out of it. Of the two -inch brush. I was gonna try and do this two hairs and some air. live, Just give them a little blend. but I'm gonna have to pause Same it because I'm cheating. We'll put a little Van Dyke brown uh, into I'm still it. doing clouds. And all we're looking for right now is just a basic. Oh, what do you do again? Oh no. Night black. Night black. And we'll put a little Van Dyke brown into it. Brown. Okay, I got black on the canvas. I got umber, vermilion, red. Ah, uh, where's my brown? A little roll of paint. Go up here. Now you have to, you have to make a big. Because we're doing burnt umber. Umber's brown, right? Maybe in our world, really push the paint in there. It goes over here, comes down. Pick up some black, pick up some brown, swirl that around. All we're looking for right now is just a basic, very basic shape. A little bit of white All in there. Palette knife. Palette knife. Yeah, it's working. Oh wow, he made that taller. Um, oh, so he goes all the way across. Tip right there. Take some start white, pulling then. these. No, we're Burn not gonna have some fun. I'm still doing the mountain. So we want it. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. That's what we're looking for. Leave all these colors marbled. Now let me wipe the old. Hey, that's off. what I said. I just wipe it over paper towel. Just all. And I accidentally pulled a little bit of the cloud into the mountain, Absolutely. but it's fine. We'll just no pressure with spread that in for. You put pressure. It's gonna look like you iced a cake. All right. Yeah, then go right into some straight midnight. All right, what's he doing here? Come right oh, okay. We're using that okay. shadow color. Some white. Oh, that's nice. All night. So and let's take some blue. Some of these little highlights. Touch. No pressure. No pressure at all. It's pulling downward. Just pull. Got a bit of the shadow color, maybe. Right back in there. No. Hey, mine looks like an ice to cake. But I'm only using toothpicks. The hard part about doing this with just toothpicks is you don't want to end up scratching into the layer of paint that you have established. You end up starting to see the canvas underneath. You're always rolling the toothpick. When you buy your first tube of paint, you get an artist license. And that license says you can do anything that makes you happy. Heck yeah. Use that license. It's yours for every member. Back to our black. Oh, Ooh, he did some white in the middle. Oh, okay. Kind of little things that live right along in here. Like so, wherever we want them. Maybe that comes. I was too busy adding there. shadows know. and things. We don't know. Where is that? Sure that I did not see. He added a big, uh, maybe. thing in the middle. Oh wow, he's doing all kinds of stuff that I'm not doing. Mine are going to come out a little bit different, of course. Little big mountain. Just a little mist. And lift gently up there. That takes out the tap marks, brings it all together. Over here, we'll follow these angles. I will not be doing that. <laughs> we'll take some black, fresh and blue, Van Dyke brown, or some crimson, maybe there's some blue. Ooh, red. Dark. We gotta add red. Just mix it up. As long as it's dark. And a fan brush. Fan brush. Back here in the back. If that should happen, all you do is just add a few more trees. Oh, no. Just fill that in. 
This is gonna be tough because I don't know how thin I can make that. Oh, he's going all the way across the bottom. Turn it. I have to fill in this little gap I have between the mountains and the trees. Decided we could just chop off whatever. Straight down. Oh. Oh no. Oh man, what are we doing? We gotta go back, rewind. <laughs> rewind time. Alright, so he had some land. Just smudges that all around, so we need a little bit more. Actually, we don't. Just pick up the green, pick up some red. Stir that. Grab some brown, pull the brown tile in there. Now's the time to do that. Big wad on the uh, decide where your ponds the toothpick. Down. Wipe off a little bit. So you have a nice little candlestick thing. And this will this will be the reflection. Instant reflection. It's that easy. Then go gentle, lightly across. A little bit of the white, like you said, and kind of huh. scribble in on these. Let's put some. Let's put some. Luckily, we have the white on the canvas showing all underneath. All beautiful colors are beginning to have. Should just get over here and some red. Indian yellow. Like this one. And then we'll add in that uh when you do it, land area. Color that you want. And just in it. You need today to do some beautiful colors. Instant reflection. It's that easy. Then go gently, lightly across. There you are. Okay, huh. now they must put some That's gonna be tough to do. Pretty things out there. With Maybe just too thick. I really don't want to cheat and use a brush. But I'm tempted. So he like wets it, he pulls it down. Hmm. Hmm. I might just like hand do All the, the reflections. That's what I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to just do the reflections by hand. What I'm doing is I'm just tapping the corner of the toothpick against the uh, the brown and the water. And it's looking mildly like a reflection. What we'll do is we'll go back. We'll do the same. Are trees and things just gonna keep smushing away, trying to make these look more like trees and not dead twigs or you know, dead trees. Oh, looks like a forest fire. I've never seen. So we got yellow, red, Alaska has tapping, snap green. Oh, green. Come back with her. I like that. Pretty. There we go. Just no. We're still making the grassy area. Back. Yellow. Think about. Problem with the toothpick sometimes you end up picking up. The color that's underneath. There. And now you have just a skinny little pond out there. Just enough to be very pretty. Ooh, there's some more of that red. I like that. Tell you what, let's, let's have a little bit of fun. Maybe down here in the foreground, take some liquid white. Go into some, I'm going to use some cad yellow. Yeah, foreground are. trees. I think my camera was in focus the entire time. Back and forth. I had a lady in class one time. She called these Z trees, like Zorro. I don't know how to get the camera in focus anyway. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. That mountain will give you a uh, We need white for the water we'll line. Teach you how to use all the equipment. And to he had a couple of foreground trees. He said, let's see what we got here. And then we need white for the water line. 
Apologies for my camera being out of focus the entire time. First time doing this. Do pick up the white. Add it onto the toothpick. And just uh, scrape it along. Actually, we'll pick up some of the brown with the other side here. A little bit of the black. We're going to kind of edge this. Just be a, a point. And just got to be careful that we're not scratching into the canvas. Then you're going to have a bunch of little white space. Sometimes good to go one direction and then go back the other direction because you're going to be picking up and moving the paint and then we can add yeah, the water lines put some white down with the water lines we might actually be scratching into the canvas but that's okay it's white underneath you get some nice depth stuff. No, I don't need a Windows update. Just feathering the canvas. And that looks kind of decent. Kind of. Probably just pull this mountain down to fill some of this white space down just trying not to screw up and what we'll do is we'll go back with our um, brown color luckily this hasn't dried so that's good and we'll just tap in some trees some little stick trees tap in more paint pull up What I might end up doing is I might tap in just a little bit of green just to make them look like they're actually trees. Alright, so we're adding some big, some big ones. I get a lot of letters that are good and tough. They can go out here and do it. I got lazy. I want to stay at home. A little trunk here, little brown and white. That's going to be the toughest thing to add. I get a lot of letters asking if I still teach classes. And I really don't teach many classes anymore. Oh, this is hard without brushes. That's going to be a really tall little stick tree. All the way up to the cloud. I'm just going to try and pull it. It's hard because it's taking some of the mountain with it. Because you're laying the paint on super duper thick. Hi, welcome back. Certain no, we're not doing another one. Today. It doesn't really look like a tree, but uh, it'll have to do. Kind of cuts up through the, the color. Um, he said white. Add a little bit of white. And gosh darn it, I think we have a finished painting. Just gonna pick up some of that extra white and uh, touch in some light green out of the tree and uh, out of both the trees actually. Just the tiniest touch. I don't want to splat my hand onto it and ruin it. Just gonna pull that white upward. Take that little peak. That little. That little um, Dairy Queen soft serve you ever get Dairy Queen soft serve and it does that little curl at the top sometimes you get that with the oil painting especially when you're using just a toothpick you can't flatten it out so there that's looking pretty decent we'll pick up some of this light green luckily it hasn't dried just kind of 
dribble that in left and right. Got some way up top here. Oh man, we've actually kind of salvaged that. That actually it doesn't look terrible. Widen out the bottom here, just a tad bit. This doesn't look like it's all one perfectly trimmed length. Rotate over the canvas. Pull it to the other side. It's looking pretty good. And then some of the dark. Just some of the background. Just to make these kind of look like trees. Oh, I just got all that on my head. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. It's not painting until you get a little dirty. Pull this down. A little bit too much. There it is. And uh, maybe just a little bit more of like white, and maybe maybe white and green. Just trying to finish up. This trunk here so it looks more like something. And, uh, yeah, I think we have a uh, we have a finished painting.